The Beef and Barnsey Show, brought to you by BowlersMart.com, trusted by bowlers around the world since 2004. By Lightning Strikes Bowl, home of Bowlers Mart Pro Shop. By Platinum Ford, drive the difference. By Fire Lake Bowling Center, 24 state-of-the-art lanes. By True Grit Coatings, drive on our passion. By Road to Grip, king of them all. By 900 Global, striking worldwide. Hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, Thursday. It is the night after the PBA League draft. Um, we will get to that um, shortly, but um, we have a special guest joining us today. Um, he just came off his second win at Barnes' Thanksgiving Classic. Um, we're going to ask him a few questions about how he did it, what, what he used and everything else. And I think that he will be able to give us an idea of why urethane is important for him and in his game. And maybe that can spark some debate with you guys over what you think. So uh, without further ado, welcome uh, the young protege, Jacob Lasifko. How you doing, mate? Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, yeah I'm doing good. I'm always good. Um, what's uh, So you uh, came away with the win again. At the um, at Barnes' event. Um, now, when did you actually start bowling, like, seriously? Uh, it was two years ago, after COVID. Yeah, I swapped it two-handed because I wanted to, to see the ball hook. Let's say you because you wanted to be good. Okay. So, yeah. so, like, I think that you've gone through kind of – I was talking with you a little bit about it and your dad and stuff – You've kind of gone through the curve that a lot of um, youth bowlers go through where um, you kind of were somewhat ignorant to what was going on to start with. And you had a few good results and you were like, oh, my God, this bowling thing's easy. And then it seems like you've actually got better over the last year, but your results haven't been as good. Um, talk a little bit about that. How's that? You know, what would you what advice would you give to other kids? who kind of are like improving really quickly, but don't feel like they get the results. Well, you can't win every tournament. You of course want to make improvement after each tournament. But like one thing I learned was you can of course make every cut with a urethane ball, but you can't with like a reactive ball. So mm -hmm. like you can think you're the greatest when you're throwing a urethane ball and you can make all these cuts and you can win these things. But when it like, you actually have to play the lane it can be a little tough and that's where I struggled for a little bit because I tried to not use as much urethane and then I didn't win for a while. And right. it's just easy. So yeah, I, I really meant it more a case of like you've been adding more tools to like oh, your yeah. like not necessarily ball wise, but like being able to throw it a little differently. And that's yeah. kind of caused you a few more problems than like basically just turning up and doing the one thing that you could do. And if it worked great and if it didn't, you know, whatever. Um, do you think like though in the last 12 months, like you have improved and like you're better at bowling now than you were, even though necessarily the results weren't as good until just recently? That's I think I was, yeah, because I didn't really understand what I was doing last year. It was honestly just luck that I won the Chris Barnes last year. <laughs> I it, there was nothing I knew really. I was just trying to keep it on the lane and it struck. But like this year, I knew what I wanted to do and I knew how to do it. It was just a matter of if I could do it because I, I, I spent this much time practicing it. It's just, it was going to work at some point. Yeah. Um, Billy said, Would you ever consider uh, polishing up a urethane ball to the max for extremely dry lanes? Um, I personally wouldn't. Um, if I was bowling on extremely dry lanes and I wanted something like that, I would probably go with something like a mix that was already polished that doesn't really have a uh, much of a core in it. I, I think that that's going to be a better option. Um, I think that the thing that's good about urethane is that it kind of reads early and is predictable, and that's kind of what you were seeing out of it, right, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I kept my. Purple hammer, just I didn't hit it with any surface at the Barnes tournament. Yeah, yeah. But so, 
what which which urethanes do you use? Do you just use the purple hammer? Do you use pitch black? I use the pitch black and fast pitch the most. I don't really use the purple hammer, surprisingly. But you it's did use strong. that at Barnes's tournament, right? Yeah. Yeah. So do you find that the purple hammer hooks up a lot more? Yeah. And sometimes it can't be really controllable. And so I'd rather place like slower and kind of slow hook the lane rather than trying to chuck it as fast as I can with the purple hammer. Uh, okay. And then for, for you as a two hander, um, what, what do you see out of the urethane balls that um, helps you? What, what's the reason why you think that the urethane ball is so useful for you? It just kind of works on everything. Like there's going to be a spot where it's going to hook. You just have to find it. And if not, just throw it slower. And yeah, there's ways to manipulate it easier without being that much of a dramatic difference. Okay. So you just see it as like something that's like more, more of a blended option. Yeah. Okay. So what are your plans? Um, like bowling wise? Um, I'd like to bowl in college, of course, um, okay. cause I'm a senior and if anything comes after that, I mean, we'll have to see cause four years is a long, long time, but maybe I become pro. Maybe I just bowl tournaments here and there. Yeah. Get a real job. Yeah. Get a real job. That's, that's a goal first. <laughs> that's a good goal. Um, Hey Chris, what's going on? Um, Thanks for the super chat. And I appreciate it. Yeah, it is my anniversary today. How my wife has put up with me for 10 years. I'm not quite sure, but I'm very blessed. Um, no, Jacob isn't a storm person. Jacob is a, um, is a, uh, Nick, his dad person. Yep. Sponsored yep. by Nick. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, Jacob can throw whatever he needs to. Um, have you had? Have you uh, seen or thrown a uh, the new IQ? You? I've I've seen it. It looks super early. I haven't thrown it though. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we uh, we actually I we've got a few videos on the channel. Um, I'm actually going to be bowling a match against Garrett that I filmed last week. I will put that match up. If you haven't seen mine and Garrett's um, attempt at trying to shoot 800 between us in a bowling scramble, uh, check that out. Um, I think I'm going to do it slightly differently next time. Uh, the video came out a little bit long, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's a bit of fun. Um, I'm going to get some more personality out of Garrett, so I'll try my best. Uh, Stu, are you bowling this weekend? What's your impressions on the Sublime? I like the Sublime. Um, I think it is a little more rounded for me than the infused. I think the infused is a little uh, longer and a little sharper. Um, I think that the sublime fits kind of underneath the Zen. If you're in the global line, I think it's a pretty good complement to the Zen. I was practicing yesterday on the pattern that I'm bowling on this weekend in the regional in Houston, and the Zen hooked quite a bit earlier and quite a bit more overall. Um, than than the uh, sublime. So, um, uh, yeah. I mean, it is going to read pretty early. It's got quite a lot of surface on it. You could consider taking the surface up a little bit, um, if you wanted to use it. Um, Alex says urethane provides a safe floor. Talking about like kind of trying to take the low games out of it on harder patterns. If you know that uh, going into a tournament, the worst score you can shoot is 180. That gives you so much more confidence to compete. I think I see that a lot. Um, I also think it helps um, rev dominant players kind of keep the ball on the right-hand side of the lane um, a lot of the time. So what are your plans for the rest of the year? Do you have any more tournaments to bowl? The City Youth Open Tournament is this weekend it's a really tough tournament i don't know if i'll do that well in it but it should be fun i think that's where's that at it's in dallas city view city yeah view that, that place is kind of tough we bought the iron man there 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was. Oh, here time. we go. I was wondering when it was going to come. Oh no! I uh, I I have a uh, I have a super chat coming in uh, from a great friend of mine, um, Nick, your father. I imagine you're in this cute little family picture he's got here on his uh, YouTube profile. He said, "Jacob, what is your bowling record against against your dad? Um, are you winning or losing in the overall series?" And uh, yeah, so uh, he's just asking. Well, you see, it's a matter of like, I don't know if it's winning or losing. If we're talking like regionals, he's winning. But we put down the Barnes pattern at at Mel's, and but this, he, but this he, was practice, right? But you take practice as the real tournament. You kind of we, we're, we're talking about practice, not the but, game. We're talking about practice. Yeah, and he couldn't shoot one fifty, so. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, Nick, Nick, you've. I mean, we need to show him Alan Iverson. Nah, if if you, we go against each other right now, I win. I win. There's no chance. But 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 your dad did win four tournaments in a row. I think. I think it was three. No, no, no. He went to the fourth one because the T-shirt I bought him became out of date. Oh, okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah. my memory's a little off. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if I was losing to your dad on a regular basis, I'd forget about it too. Yeah, you just kind of got to become like a goldfish. You just forget about <laughs> We're it. Talking about it's... practice, man. Not the game. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what I'm talking about at all? No clue. Right. Go on YouTube, Google <laughs> Alan Iverson practice. Don't do it now. When when okay. you, you're going to leave in a couple of minutes. Okay. Google Alan Iverson practice, and Alan Iverson's got this thing, and there was a report that like there was a there was something happening in the practice, and he just goes, "We talking about practice, not the game. We talking about practice," and he just keeps yelling, funny. "We talking about practice, not the game. <laughs> practice." That's, so that's funny. why we're giving you a hard time. So all of the old people understand. Uh, I give my blood, sweat. See, they all know. <laughs> Not the only the person that doesn't. All right. Well, I uh, I appreciate you um, to to show my age. You've got to get off to school. So um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Um, thanks for having me. See you around. Um, I'm sure the next time I'll give you more of a hard time about you know your dad beating you again, even though he. I'll win the next time. Him. Next time I'm on here, I'll, there'll be a three P for me. I'll have yeah, a shirt. Okay. All right. Well, three beat of the Barnes Classic. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All, All right, right, thank you. All right, take care, mate. Thank you. Bye now. All right. Um, I think it's just the same as like it, it's the same as everything, Alex. Like, um, you see a lot of kids playing football, but not many of them make it into the NFL. So, yeah, it's uh. It, it it it's it, it's it's just it, yeah Pe people get bored they discover girls they uh you know they 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 want money their parents stop paying for it like there's there's so many different reasons why it could be so um hey linda what's going on yes um yeah yeah the pba league draft was last night um Let's let's quickly uh, bring up the. Uh, let me see if I can share. Mm. I don't know whether you guys are going to be able to see that. Let me see if I can make this a bit bigger. Okay. All right, that worked. Um. Uh yeah. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. I I just believe that me and Ga that that I couldn't possibly do worse than a seven, and then of course I split, so that wasn't ideal. Uh uh yeah, yeah, it was funny actually. A few people text me about that. Um 
Uh, Rash gave me a little bit of a hard time because he went in the second round of our draft. He ended up going in the third round of the um, of the draft. So that was kind of fun. Uh, anyway, um, the LAX, uh, obviously pretty strong team. When you start off with Jason Belmonte and Kevin McCune, and then you get the first pick and you can get somebody uh, with a triple crown in Don Barrett. Uh, they added Keiko, Darren Tang, and Kevin Williams. So adding the lefty in the last round. Motown um, picked Cooley to pair with uh, Tackett and Simonson. Jason Sterner, Justin Knowles, and Zach Tackett. The atom splitters went with Vi and Svensson, and then they added Francois Lavoie, and then kind of added guys they've had on the roster before, and Tom Doherty and Dick Allen. Um, solid player in Nick Pate, who missed out on the PBA League last time. Um, Oh, quick shout out to uh, EJ and his wife, Natalie, on welcoming uh, their new son into the world last night. So that was that was fun. Congratulations to them. Uh, new Jersey Kingpins. Um, they went with Marshall Ken and Packy Hanrahan. They added BJ Moore. Um, they added the other half of this channel, Chris Barnes. Kyle Sherman, who's already been on the team, and then added Richie Teese. Uh, Teese has been on um, a couple of different teams, uh, the Vegas High Rollers and the Atom Splitters. Uh, Vegas, uh, they added Andrew Anderson. They had Andrew Anderson and AJ Johnson. They added Matt Ogle with their first pick, got Russo back as their lefty, stole Rash in the fifth round, and then added Thomas Larson as a solid pick. He was on LAX with me last time. Um, Dallas Strikers added Tommy Jones, Bill O'Neill, uh, Maldonado, Jake Peters got Buttruff in the fifth round. Um, I think a few people were um, pushing Jacob back a little bit because of his injury and because he bowled injured um, during the PBA League. And then they added Frank Snodgrass, who was on the winning team last year. Timmy got back his whole team and added Tom Smallwood to it. So I'm sure he's going to be happy. Uh, Malot, Far, uh, Smallwood, and Arturo Quintero. And then my team, the Waco Wonders. I am the local hometown hero. I am the closest to Waco who bowls on the PBA tour. Um, we've got Parker Bone and Ryan Simonelli. And then they added myself, Mitch Hupe, uh, DJ Archer. And uh, the last pick of the draft was Tom Hess, um, who is currently on a tear at the World Seniors. Um, so yeah, somebody asked me, can we do a comparison to the mark? Um, love to, but I, um, the file, um, got corrupted. So I don't actually have the file that we saved. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're an older team. We've all got a chip on our shoulder. I think it's going to be good. Um, yeah, I felt really bad for Sean, especially. Um, he had a really good year last year. Um, it was way up in the points. Um, AJ, obviously, um, was. I think AJ was the second person in points that was snubbed. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Managers are going to do what managers are going to do. And like, you've just got to, yeah, you just got to use it as motivation and work on the things in your game that you don't necessarily have, or just say, fuck it. And just, just bowl the season out, win titles and not worry about it. And show, I mean, Mike, me and Mike said the other day, uh, Andrew Anderson didn't get picked for the PBA league draft one year and end up being player of the year. So, um, Someone says, glad to see Tommy Fry back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hess is going to bring the energy for sure. Crazy how Portland got their team back. Yeah. It's just the way things drop sometimes. Um, thanks, Danny. Appreciate you. Um, well, it's based off, um, obviously, ability. Um what you think, like, for example, a few of the lefties haven't been picked because, well, there was already a bunch of lefties on teams and 
you don't want to get too many lefties on your squad. Like for us, we already had two lefties on our team. So it made it very difficult to want to add a third because then every week you're locked into bowling two lefties every single week. And if the pattern isn't conducive to the left side, you could end up being in trouble. So that kind of took a bunch of the lefties off the board for us. Um, and then as well as that, you had the situation um, with a lot of those lefties um, using urethane. And with the new urethane rules, nobody really knows what's going to happen with that and how how that's going to happen, you know, how that's going to work out. Um, so I think those things played into it. Um, and then, like I say, um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know, some of the managers, you know, they have the guys they like. I mean, it's just, it, it's human nature. There's always going to be a scenario where, um, you know, there's going to be some guys who just don't mesh with other guys or, and I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. Um, I think that you can use any excuse to justify any decision. Um, I just, like I say, I wish we had way more tournaments so that this didn't make up um, such a proportion of the um, income and TV opportunities that the guys have. So, yeah, that's kind of the way I feel about it. Uh I mean, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I understand you're only joking, but um, like I say, we, 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 we'll see. Um, hopefully the league is something that um, uh, it being a little exclusive, uh, you know, maybe it being a little exclusive um, gets guys to really want to rededicate. And, and this isn't talking about the guys who didn't get picked. I'm just saying like, Maybe this is going to be the thing that spurs on everybody to want to be part of it and um, just to raise the standard of the tour overall. So we shall see. Um, the change in urethane rules had a big effect on the draft, in my opinion. Um, which players do you think it affected, Dan? In the who didn't get drafted, who you think would have got drafted? I think that the person I feel really bad for is actually Santu. Because Santu was, it would have been very easy for Santu to do what others have done in the past and not really say anything about his injury. And then when it came to the first tournament, him not be available. Um, but him being totally open and honest about it ended up meaning that nobody drafted him at all. And with us all having a sixth, uh, a sixth spot, I was sure that somebody was going to take him, but they didn't. And that kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, so. Um, the new storm urethane what service do you have yours for the best results uh for your style of ball i have it in the box finish or a, or a little rougher uh but i have probably a little more speed than uh most people so uh yeah that's kind of it's kind of the way i feel about that one um the most ironic thing about the PBA league was Rash and Russo ended up on the same team. I actually didn't think about that at all until you just said it, but that is funny. Um, I've got something to show you guys also. Let me just pull it up so I don't have to be quite as all over the place. Right. So we have we have new merch. Uh, we have new merch for the new year. So just one second. All right. So we have a new backpack, um, which you can get personalized. It comes in two or three colors. Um, we have baseball hats. Uh, we've got updated pricing on the joggers. Um, We've got beanies now. We have the, and then we've added the Strikes for Show, Strikes for Doe t-shirt that um, has been a long time in the making. So 
Um, if you are looking for a gift for your for the Beef and Barnsley fans in your life, um, head over to the website. Uh, like I say, we added a couple of new items. I'm kind of excited by the backpack. Um, like I say, it comes in uh, black, olive. I think the olive one looks banging, actually. I think I'm going to order one of the olive ones. And then it also comes in gray. Um, but um, I believe, yeah, $10, you can have your name stitched on it also. Um, yeah. So uh, head over to beefandbarnsley.com um, and uh, order some merch for Christmas. Um, even if you're just going to order it for yourself, get after it. So, uh, sounds like some guys had to convince managers they plan on being out there. I think the thing was, um, you had to actually say, you had to commit to the tour, um, to be eligible for the draft. So, um, it wasn't really about convincing managers or anything that was part of the agreement with the pba um yeah we definitely need to uh we definitely need to get onto that um but no we didn't get that done on this run i might actually message them back and see if i can get it done um what color do you fancy that in uh marion thanks for uh, being part of the show again good morning happy anniversary thank you i appreciate you um not as much as i appreciate tina but uh uh, thanks for the well wishes in Houston. Thanks, man. Yeah, I really like it. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, uh, you, you want maroon? Ooh, Aggie maroon. Ooh. How about burnt orange? Burnt orange? Uh, the Magic Gem is hybrid. Um, it doesn't really seem like it is uh, when it rolls. Um, when I shined it up, it definitely looked a little bit more that way. Um, but yeah, Barnes is, um, Barnes is still bowling, um, out in Columbia. He is going to finish tonight and then they're flying straight to Houston. So, uh, that's kind of an interesting one, uh, how he's going to manage to make that time, but we will see. Um, Hey Stu, two hander here. I recently plugged one of, one of, one of the balls and drilled it one handed with a thumb. I can't get the thing to hook any tips. Um, why did you change to one-handed? Like, you might be the only person who's changed from two to one. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, um, I, maybe adding a little surface will help. I think the key to bowling one-handed is it's how quickly you can go from this position to this position. If you go over the top of it, that's going to be really bad. So. Um, it's just about, um, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, it, that, that's what, sorry. I was reading one of the questions. I was just like, so confused. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, it's just about how quickly you, you, you can get the thumb out and get onto the fingers. Um, it sounds like you just need to create more speed with your two handed style then. Um, I don't think. Changing back to one hundred is the deal. Um, how do you increase your revs? Um, it, revs is about timing and um trying to be a little bit later and then it's it's getting the ball off your thumb and how quickly you can unload your wrist um and catch with the fingers um there is a lot of different things that go into it it's not a uh it, it's not really a, a a something that you can really answer without really being on the lanes um uh it depends shirts should come in random colors based on what scott the vendor has what color do i get it depends i mean that is that is pretty sweet i think cliff would be up for that um um i i, I mean i haven't thrown one since like the blue and black one whichever one that was like 
in like 2009. So um, I've been on Stormstaff now, getting on 13 years, 12 years, 12 or 13 years. So um, I don't know. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate you. I'm right there with you. Um, my main issue is I can't get my uh, left arm past my gut, so that makes it a little difficult. Uh, can you make... Um, I think that the new absolute power that's coming out in January might be might be a contender for replacing the Rubicon. Um, the Rubicon is a pretty um, specific combination. And uh, yeah. Oh, somebody answers my... I, I, I realize now how I misunderstood. Um, so yeah, um, I, I think the absolute power might be, might, might be a good option there. Um, thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. Um, but but he did, he said, and drilled it for one handed with thumb. So. Um. Yeah, USA sent a pretty solid team. They definitely chose violence. Um. Thanks, Lonnie. Uh, been a while. Hope you're doing well. That's very funny. I actually did drill one pin down this week, and um, for me, the pin down one actually was a little more uh was. I didn't feel like it was more rounded. I may well do a video on the two so you can see the comparison between pin up and pin down on that ball. Um, um, how do you combat urethane carry down on a house shot specifically, Stu? Um, you're just going to have to get the ball outside of the carry down um, at your break point. So if that means for you being left-handed, moving further left, or slowing down and opening your angle up more, but you're going to have to get the ball to kind of hook around the carry down, so to speak. So um, that's really going to be the key um, on that. Thanks, Mazel. So, so yeah. What are you puzzled about, Martin? Um, I'm happy. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm excited to get after it with Simonelli um, and and Parker. You know they they came away with the win last year. They've kind of got the formula for success. Um, Waco's on TV a lot this year uh, with the way the PBA has done it. I think we're on the first three telecasts, so that's going to be exciting. Um, getting some TV time, obviously, when one of the best bowlers of all time. Uh, chooses you with your first pick that can't do um that can't do your confidence any harm at all um uh ready to run through brick walls and get going so um yeah it's it's fun um i think we've got a team um where everybody's going to chip on their shoulder so um i'm sure that when the power rankings come out we'll probably end up being 10th even though there's only eight teams but um yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for it. I think it's going to be good. Um, no, the format is now week to week. Um, uh, they they have put out press releases about it on PBA.com. Um, I think there's stuff also on the Facebook page, but principally, we bowl around Robin where you bowl every team um, a couple of times. Um, so yeah, and then we bowl PBA League competition at every stop. Um, and then the majors have PBA League competition on TV. Um, how do you think the fronts will play this year on tour with harder urethanes? Um, I just think people will be using urethane for less time. Um, 
whether I'm right or wrong, we'll see. Uh, the first tournament is 38 feet, so a lot of people are going to want to throw urethane on that. So it'll be interesting to see how that that plays out. Um, um, Alan, right-hander, when I move in and open up the angles, I leave a lot of ring and tend your thoughts. Um, you probably just need a hair more surface on your ball. Usually when you're ringing 10, you're really close. The ball's just going a little bit too long. Um, if you can get a little bit more surface, and if you don't want to hit with surface, you just need a little bit more forward roll rather than uh, rotation. Um, that's going to be... Um, if you're playing on a super long heavy oil or both, um, getting your break point closer to the head pin. So not trying to make it hook as much down the lane is going to be the key. Um, using probably a dull asymmetrical ball um, is going to be the most helpful. Um, for me, I try to make it roll, get it rolling as soon as possible rather than it just skidding. Um, so keeping keeping your break point in um, and then rolling it more off your hand is going to be the key. Okay, guys. Well, um, my car is actually getting delivered back from a Platinum Ford um, shortly today. So um, if we don't have any more questions, I am going to uh, get out of here. Um, uh, Don says, have some over issues. Any sort of suggestions? Yeah, I've hit mine with like kind of 2,000. Um, yeah. That's that's kind of made it a bit better for me. I actually like the blackout going a little bit straighter. Um, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're using their valet service for me. I appreciate them very much. Um, if you get the chance, please go and see them. Um, how do I strike more? Practice. The more I practice, the more I strike. It's just the way it is. Um, it's such a good combination. <laughs> I mean. I mean, seriously, you just got to get out in the lanes and and uh, focus in. So, all right, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, sorry it was a little short today. Um, I will, uh, once Barnes is back, we will have a bit more of a deeper dive into the draft. Um, but uh, if you get the chance, uh, please support the sponsors who have support us. That is Storm, Rotogrip 900 Global, uh, Turbo, Cool Wick, Bowler's Mark, Fire Lake Bowling Center, Lightning Strikes, and Platinum Ford. Um, with that, have a great weekend. Uh, me and Chris will be bowling down in Houston. I believe it's being covered by Bowl TV, so check that out. And um, thanks again, and I will see you next week. Take care now. Bye-bye.